Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing quickly how you can take a backup of your Twitter data, why you might want to now, and what you're going to find inside more importantly when you do that, because clearly a backup is only as good as the data you get. Now, technically speaking, because I have friends in the backup community and uh, do consider myself something of a backup geek, there is a big difference between backup and archive. And what we're doing really here is pulling out an archive. We're pulling out a snapshot of our user data at a certain point in time. Now, the reason that I think this is important to do is really for any SaaS platform, any cloud hosted platform you're using, whether that's a social network like Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, uh, even Google, Microsoft, any cloud that you are creating data on, you're really putting yourself in a kind of vulnerable position from a sort of data management perspective, right? Now, the reason I say that with Twitter is obviously at the moment Twitter is making crazy headlines with the whole Elon Musk stuff and Elon Musk vo voting himself out of Twitter CEO, uh, apparently that's actually gonna happen, but it's been crazy volatile recently. We're seeing Twitter uh, announce these kind of snap policy shifts that you, know, uh, you won't be allowed on to continue posting on Twitter if your primary purpose of using it is to promote uh, content on other social networks. And this really just goes to show that when you are using a service like Twitter or any SaaS, you are not the owner of that castle. And the owner of that digital castle can move the goalposts on you very quickly. And that's why my recommendation personally would be to periodically back up your data on any SaaS platform, whether we're talking about Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, whether you're a business, whether you're a you know private person, I would do it. So let's just quickly have a look at the backup functionality. And just one more uh, sort of pre-word or preamble here. The backup functionalities, you if, you if you do this regularly and you try to back up your own data wherever it is across the web, you will discover that they're the only thing in common between the backup functionalities of Twitter, uh, Asana, you know, you name your cloud tool is that there is, there are very little commonalities. Everyone does it a little bit differently. And that's why I recommend the first time you do a backup process, go into your backup archive and see what you actually got, because you're not going to know. It's better to know at the start than if you ever do find yourself suspended from Twitter or Asana or whatever platform, whatever SaaS platform you want. It's better to discover first than when it's too late to see what the platform actually gave you. So let's take a quick look in uh, Twitter here. And this is basically it. If you play around in the settings, you'll find this page fairly quickly. Your account, Twitter data, and then you click on download archive. And what this is going to do is package up an archive. And this takes a while. So I've, I've seen people saying, you know, I never got the archive. It does take like 24 hours and you'll see why because if, you are, if you're an active Twitter user, it's grabbing all your data. It's packaging up all the images you've tweeted, everything you've tweeted, pulling that out of Twitter's own databases. So it does take a little bit. So just remember this isn't an instant process and after you request the archive, it's going to take a little bit. So anyway, you get an email when this process is complete and you download the archive. Now what I'm going to do is show you guys my archive that I just exported myself from Twitter and give a sort of whistle stop tour of what's inside. Now, all I've done here is unzip this uh, Twitter archive, otherwise it's pretty much untampered. So just to show you what you're gonna get, you're gonna get a bunch of .js files, right? JavaScript files, and you're going to get a few folders and I'll show you where the kind of goodies are. There's one uh, HTML file, which is kind of going to help you navigate it. You can open that in a web browser, or you can just pull through these folders. In assets, there is very little. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what this stuff is. I don't think it's account specific. Uh, you know, you've got fonts, you've got some JS files. I really don't know exactly what this is, so I hope... I uh, hope uh, no personal info was revealed here. Data is where you want to where you want to gonna go to actually get to your export process and you're gonna get a few now the folder structure is pretty good it's pretty self-explanatory 
you can see here deleted tweets media right and i'm just going to make this a bit easier for you guys to see um i remember this is actually from only a few days ago i was tweeting my home networking setup and i kept making tweaks to the labeling here so um so just just to show you and again i think this kind of really emphasizes when you're creating data on the internet the internet never forgets even when you delete a tweet as you can see here right those images are being very much retained on twitter servers and uh because you can access them yourself so i've actually only got six images in my deleted tweets folder and again, you can just kind of play around with it like this and you'll kind of figure out what the various folders are. Here's the big one, Tweets Media, and it is 400. So my export came to about 450 gigs. Uh, and if you check a look in here, this is gonna be like everything you have tweeted, right? So over the years I've tweeted like, uh, this was the Prosecco tour, a photo of my desk, you know, uh, some, some stuff about Corona, an internet speed test. A video so basically everything i'm just going to pull up the video here i have no recollection of tweeting this photo this video i think that's a retweet this is for sure not my video i don't own a drone so you know it looks like they actually do a pretty thorough job of like the stuff you retweet even you know they're going to package that up and of course if you're a bit more uh, tech savvy you could filter this uh, folder according to the file type so you could put your mp4 video files into one folder and the rest into another now your tweets themselves like who you followed who you've blocked if you've blocked anyone all this stuff is here it's really actually quite thorough your phone number is there uh, i'm going to try find my tweets tweets.js looks like the one i want i'm going to just open this up in a text editor here and uh as you can see yeah, this is like, I sent this tweet a few days ago, one of the biggest threats for creators and their productivity, letting toxic negative people derail uh, those who don't get it, derail what you love doing. So you can see this is really, uh, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna continue with the rest of it. So basically if you are a Twitter user and an active Twitter user, I really recommend now specifically at this point in history, going through this export process, backing up your tweets you're going to get a nice little package from twitter and uh, if you really want to join the you know international fraternity and sorority of backup enthusiasts i actually do totally recommend doing this like every you don't have to be crazy about it do it like once a month on twitter linkedin all the kind of cloud platforms you use and it'll just put those on you know an m disk or an nas or whatever and it'll just give you peace of mind that if you ever get locked out of one of these SaaS services your data will not disappear into a black hole so i hope this was useful if you have other sort of uh hacks or um uh methodologies for backing up your twitter data uh feel free to leave me a comment here on youtube i always love reading them and thank you guys very much for watching and keep your twitter data safe and i hope that uh, good and more stable things are to come to Twitter because it's really, really a good platform. Thank you guys for watching.